flexibility and creativity will lead to visibility. I repeat that again. Versatility, flexibility, and creativity will lead to visibility. If you don't do something about your life, life will do something with you. God does not change, but he expects you to change the way you do the things you do. And yet, the power is there for you. You can do it. You can make it happen. In your profession, it can happen. In your family, it can happen. Are you ready? To evolve, are you ready? To progress, are you ready? To make a change, are you ready? You know, someone said the other one, I said, my pastor is not ready. I've forgotten how during the question and answer time. My pastor is a traditionalist. Does not think of change. Pastor, if your members are thinking about you that way, we don't know who wrote that and we don't want to know. But you ask yourself, could that be me? Could that be me? Could that be me? Are you somebody that likes to do things different? Or you are just fixated on one way? Stagnated in, one, in doing one thing? Things will change in Jesus' name. Yeah. I said things will change in Jesus' name. Yeah. You know, in my house, we were arranging chairs, and then we look at it, and I say, how is it? And then they said, Pastor, no matter how it is now, you know that you will change it again anyway. Always look for a way to do things different. Praise the Lord. We are marching forward. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you are marching forward. This is your time. I told us from Friday that Paul Apostle is no more here. Peter is no more here. James is no more here. Philip is no more here to go to Samaria. You are here, I am here. They impacted their generation. We will impact our generation. Let us pray. The change will begin with your personal relationship with the Lord. If you are not born again, understand that we are serving a holy God. Who wants us to do things in a holy way? For a holy purpose. And if you say, I'm born again, the things you are doing, is it being done or are they being done in an holy way? If God were to see you now, face to face, and try to give account for your labor, how will you feel? Will you be pleading for more time and you'll be able to say like Paul the Apostle, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my cause. The Lord is waiting on you and waiting on me. Remember the parable of talents. God is unchanging. He will reward us on the basis of what we have done. If you have 10 talents, you need a strategy, you need a method, you need the wisdom, you need the energy, the tenacity, the vigor, the vision, the mission to double it.
If you're a pastor over one church, don't set you with just one church. Tell the Lord to use you. To lead you, to guide you, to steer you all, steer up your gifts. Stir up your gifts. Don't be consumed with the mundane things of life. Business is good. We need it to survive. Career is good. Education is good. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. As a child in the family, as a student, young adult, wives, mothers, husbands, fathers, what are we doing different to change our world? To change our world. To change our church. Without changing the word of God. Without changing the doctrines of God. Without changing the standard of holiness. Without changing the teachings of consecration. Because God does not change. His judgment will not change. He will judge the quick and the dead. Everyone will stand before him to give account for the way they have lived their life. Be not bitter by persecution, by opposition, by trials, by problems of life, by hunger, by joblessness. And as ministers of the gospel, as you go back, will you pray the song that says, Must I go an empty handed? Must I meet my Redeemer soul? Not with one soul which wish to greet him, must I an empty handed go. Every branch in me that beareth no fruit, will be withered. Make me fruitful, O Lord. Progressive, O oh Lord. Visionary, O oh Lord. Help me to be strategic. It's easy for anybody to say, the church is not growing. What are you doing to grow the church? Are you growing yourself? How can we reach our younger generation? How can we bring them on board? Yet without compromising the teaching and the doctrine of holiness. God loves them but hates their sin. God loves them but hates their worldliness. But how can we do it? We need the grace of God. We need to investigate. We need to interact. We need to get involved. We need to intercede. We need to internalize this passion 
the passion for the salvation of souls for the progress of the work of the ministry Emotion is not enough. In singing. Emotion is not enough in preaching. We need a part of the Holy Ghost. If you're a worker in the church, what are you contributing? To the progress of the work of the Lord. A member in the church, every worker you see, every minister you see, every pastor you see, they began as a member. Are you building up yourself in your most holy faith? Pastor Bayeri, can you please come round up the prayer for us? Jesus' name we pray. Our everlasting Father, we bless you. Because you are the all sufficient God. You made us in your image. You made us perfect. You made us complete. And you made us your children. We are not animals. We are not stones. We are made in the image of God. The living God. Lord, you have brought us here today to impart yourself in us. To fill us with your fullness. To fill us with your spirit. You have instructed us, Lord. You have taught us. You have quickened us by your spirit. Lord, we are praying. As we go forth into the world into which you have sent us. We pray, Lord, that your spirit will quicken us to deliver and to fulfill your purpose in our world in Jesus' name. You have invested in us. You have sown the seed of your word. The word by which the world was made. Lord, your word you sent to us will not fail, but it will prosper in us. And as we go into the world, Lord, we will not fail. We will prosper for you. Amen. Go with us, Lord. Amen. Walk with us, Lord. Amen. Walk in us, Lord. Amen. Walk with us, Lord. Amen. Walk through us, Lord. Amen. Walk for us, Lord. Amen. And we will continue to walk for you. As we go, Lord, keep us safe. Amen. In all our ways, Lord, fill the valleys before us. Amen. Move mountains out of the way. Amen. 
Let darkness depart from our ways, Lord. Make us shine for your glory. And in the end, O oh Lord, after all is said and done, when our race here on earth is done, Lord, we pray, we will not be cast away. Amen. After we have helped others to come into the kingdom, Lord, we pray that you help us, Amen. that we be with you in eternity Amen. to rest forevermore. Amen. We give you all the glory and all the praise. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, before we share the grace, uh, we are going to pray. The service is over, but we are going to pray. Uh, some of our brethren are having uh, some challenges, struggling with cancer. And we want to put an end to the ravaging power of cancer in the name of Jesus. And um, there is another one, but shall we just please... Uh, Pray for everyone that is having issue with cancer. That the power of the Lord will destroy the power of that affliction. In the name of Jesus. That the Lord will penetrate to the nooks and the crannies of their body and bring a lasting healing. The Lord will visit them all. The Lord will make them whole. The Lord will make them whole. Every seed of cancer will command, get out in the name of Jesus. Every brother, every sister currently been afflicted. We declare their release. We declare their release. We declare their release. We declare their release in the name of the Lord. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Mention them by name. Pancreatic cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, cancer of the uterus, brain cancer. We come against you. We come against your hold. We destroy your power. In the name of Jesus, we command our brethren be healed. In all the various states, be healed. In all the various families, be healed. Ovarian cancer will destroy your power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know we have the men of God and the women of God in the house today. Yes. And the authority of God is here. Yes. The power of God is here. Yes. The presence of God is here. Yes. And God, the Bible says, uh, whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Yes. And if the two of us shall agree together on anything, it shall be done by our Father in heaven. Yes. We are going to decree now every sickness every infirmity in the life of our members and our family will come against them now in the name of Jesus. 
begin to decree. Seasonal disease, terminal disease. Whether they are on the Zoom, whether they are on YouTube, whether they are on uh, Facebook, or whether they are in their houses, or right here in the church, we declare right now, healing. And if you are sick, under the sound of my voice, lay your hand upon wherever you are hurting. Lay your hand upon wherever you are having the trouble, because uh, the power of the Lord is flowing from his servants unto you right now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, I think it was on Thursday. Somebody supposed to be here, but couldn't come. Because there was a bad news from abroad. Somebody died. And according to him, it's becoming a pattern in the family. And when one person dies, it's not going to be just one person. It's going to be a number of them that will die around the same time. We are going to break that yoke. In that family, we are breaking a yoke. The yoke of untimely deaths. The yoke of course. The generational cause begin to decree right now in the name of Jesus. Handwritings of ordinances we destroy in that family. We release your children. We release your children to live and not to die. We cancel the power of death. Every cause in the family line. Every yoke in the family line. Every covenant of death will destroy now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Huh. You're going to pray for yourself now. But before you do, you're going to sing. Touch me one more time, O oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Those of you online, everybody, we are all praying together. I need the touch of the master. I need the touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I need the touch of the master. I need the touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Begin to pray for yourself. Every mark of sickness in my body. Every attack of the enemy in my life. Every affliction. Every oppression. Every infirmity. I come against you. In the name of Jesus, pack your Lord and go. Pack your Lord and go. Pack your Lord and go. Every activities of the devil in my body, I refuse you, renounce you, reject you. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die but leave. I shall not die but leave. My life will not be lived in sickness. Will not be lived in paralysis. I will not live in pain. 
I will not live under affliction, oppression, or torment. In the name of Jesus, every deposit of the devil in my body be gone in the name of Jesus. The Lord is working already. Somebody is getting healed already. Every secret place is where the enemy is hiding sicknesses and diseases. Let the fire of the Lord flush them out. Let the power of the Lord flush them out. I receive my healing. I receive my freedom. If yours is not sickness, affliction in any way, oppression in any way, attack in any way, now is your hour for freedom. In Jesus' name we pray. You believe it is done? Yes. You believe it is done? Yes. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, that joy that flows my soul. Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. Yes, Lord. And no. The joy that flows my soul. Hallelujah. He touched me. Has happened, and now I know he touched me. Be it unto you according to your faith, according to your confession, in the name of the Lord. The grace after two. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Congratulations. It is well with you.